The Los Angeles Chargers. Ever since the 2020 NFL Draft, the way of Los Angeles has changed forever. A new and improved quarterback to go along with an incredible wide receiver core and an amazing backfield. It is a difference maker for the Chargers and this lineup is capable of doing some damage. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce a fantasy lineup worth drafting and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys are ready. What's going on guys? My name is Aaron and this is the game day hour. Welcome back to the fantasy football team review. In this series, we take a look at each and every 32 NFL franchises and see what they offer for fantasy football. Here we analyze the team's quarterback, running back, wide receiver one and two, tight end and starting kicker. Our goal is to look back to last year and see are they worth drafting and if so, when and where. Today, we analyze the Los Angeles Chargers. Justin Herbert, Los Angeles Chargers quarterback. The one time I ever gave my hopes into a rookie quarterback was the same year I ended up winning fantasy, which was 2020. I had Josh Allen as my main quarterback, but my backup was Justin Herbert. Nobody knew how good Justin Herbert was about to become. And then that New Orleans Saints game came by and I kept him on the team from here on out. He was amazing that year. And now he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Let's take a look at his stats from last season. He played 17 games and in 17 games he had 477 completions, which is second, 699 attempts, which is also second. He, had, he was 68.2%, which is tied for fourth, 4,739 passing yards, which is second, 25 touchdowns, that's tied for eighth, 10 interceptions, that's 100th, and he's the only quarterback with 10 interceptions exactly, and he has 320 total fantasy points, which is ninth. He played phenomenal. He has always played phenomenal, and it's just no wonder that he is a top five quarterback for me. He's number five on my list. Therefore, he is somebody I would draft in early rounds one through four. He is one of the best, one of the best in the business. I really recommend somebody going after him. I see him more being drafted in round two, three, and four than one, but he is potentially a low round one pick. He is somebody very reliable with a great core around him, so someone you should pay attention to. Austin Eckler, Los Angeles Chargers running back. Potentially the best dual threat running back in the entire NFL is Austin Eckler. His stats both in the rushing and passing game are amazing. So let's take a look. He played 17 games last year. In those 17 games, he had 204 carries, which is 20th, 915 rushing yards, which is 18th, and 13 touchdowns, which is tied for second. Along with that, he had 107 receptions, which is tied for fifth, 722 receiving yards, which was 48th, and five touchdowns through the air, tied for 34th. That gave him 358 total fantasy points first among all running backs. He had another phenomenal year. He is always a high prospect, and this year is no different, though I believe he is being one of the most disrespected running backs. He's not in the top five necessarily, but he's still a great running back. On my list, he's 100% draftable. He is in the top 10. There's no questions about it. He's seventh on my list, just above Tony Pollard and just below Josh Jacobs. He is easily a round high two at as late as early round fours, but anything later feels odd. Now I will have to mention, I didn't say this with Josh Jacobs in the last in the Raiders video, but there are some disputes at the running back position, which might have some running backs holding out or maybe going on strike in the near future before the season starts. And Austin Eckler is one of the names associated with that. That's the only concerns I have. Otherwise, if he plays, he is amazing. He is somebody you want on your team, 100%. Keenan Allen, Los Angeles Chargers wide receiver one. Though one of the most talented wide receiver cores, 
I'm starting to see some little development as far as uh, stats goes, but it also could be from the fact that Austin Eckler can take a majority of the load off of the receivers. And we're starting with Keenan Allen. He's been the wide receiver one for a while now. So let's see his stats. He played 10 games last year. In those 10 games, he had 66 receptions, which was 42nd, 752 receiving yards, which is 44th, four touchdowns that's tied for 46th. However, he had 160 total fantasy points, which was tied for 38th among all wide receivers. So still top 40s, but knowing what he can actually produce, it's frustrating to see him not in the top 20s. Though I still feel like I have to have high hopes because if I don't have high hopes, it just, it feels wrong. He's still one of the best receivers in the entire NFL. And, and it just confuses me why he's not producing super high. I have Keenan Allen at 20th on my list. He's top 20. He is a wide receiver two at the lowest, wide receiver three at the highest uh, among those positions. Uh, a really good flex position, I believe. Somewhere being drafted in rounds five through 10. And I just want to see his his uh, stats go up. I, I don't know why they don't go up the way they should, but Herbert needs to get them a little more involved. And they also have to stay healthy, obviously. Mike Williams, Los Angeles Chargers wide receiver two. However, on the opposite side of the coin is Mike Williams, and Mike Williams is actually a wide receiver that does get fair amount of production, but he's also pretty healthy a lot. So let's take a look at his stats. He played 13 games last year. In those 13 games, he had 63 receptions, which is tied for 46th, 895 receiving yards, which is 27th, four touchdowns that's tied for 46th and is also tied with Keenan Allen. And 171 total fantasy points that's tied for 31st he was better than keenan allen last season though he's still a wide receiver too on the depth chart maybe it's just for his benefit and he's always put up great productions a couple years ago he was one of the best receivers in the league statistically on fantasy uh on my list he is in my top 40 though i have him as 34 because i still think keenan allen will get the majority of the catches the yards the touchdowns assuming he stays healthy because they were very close together yet three games differently so if keenan allen can stay healthy i think he will still be the main wide receiver the main attention but mike williams is still going to get a lot assuming he stays healthy uh for all 17 games it's just it's just a matter of playing multiple games. The longevity is going to show more yards, more touchdowns. That's something you guys are going to want. So that's what you're rooting for. He is still someone I would draft. I see him being drafted in rounds 10 through 13, roughly. But I don't see him not being drafted. I'm pretty sure he will definitely be drafted. Gerald Everett, Los Angeles Chargers tight end. Now, one of the positions that has always been of a question mark for the Chargers is the tight end position, but I'm pretty sure it's locked up. Gerald Everett is a far better tight end than anybody else on that team. So we're going to take a look at his stats from last season. He played 16 games and in 16 games, he had 58 receptions, which was tied for 56, 555 receiving yards that's tied for 67, four touchdowns that's tied for 46 and with the other receivers and 133 total fantasy points that is 13th among all tight ends he's played pretty well and as a quote-unquote security blanket which that's what he needs to be for uh, Herbert he has earned a top 25 spot on my list though 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 um he is 21st on my list outside of the top 20. he is still somebody i would probably consider drafting and have a huge remark to draft so it is a yes but i still just see many other tight ends who i'd probably draft above him and uh it's no, no disrespect to him but i just think that he's 20 tight ends i just see more upside with them and maybe that's just why he's 21 but he still could potentially be a high draft pick and a big one for you guys if you want to go draft him i just think he's a tight end two rounds nine through 13 and yeah that's about it dustin hopkins los angeles chargers kicker 
Though he didn't play a lot of games last year, Dustin Hopkins has always been a pretty consistent kicker, somebody you're going to want on your team as a kicker too. But yeah, let's just take a look at his stats from last year. He didn't play a lot of games. He only played five games last year. In those five games, he was 9 for 10 and made an attempted. That's 90%. 100% from extra point percentage as tied for first. His long was from 43, which is 38th among all kickers. He had 39 points, which is 39 total fantasy points, which is 34th among all kickers. And so he didn't play a lot. Most of it went to Cameron Dicker, who is the secondary kicker, who might be the starting kicker. He could be. But right now it's Justin Hopkins, and Hopkins is still a very, very, very solid choice. He is ranked 15th on my list among all kickers if you can play a full season. And because of that, I do have him as somebody I would draft as a kicker too. I would see him being drafted in round 15 through 16. That's where I see most kicker twos being drafted anyways. But yeah, he is secondary option, but still it's worth picking up when he's healthy and he's starting and i'm pretty sure he is going to start for the chargers with that said if there is a change and is cameron dicker cameron dicker is a very good kicker not really on my list because of the fact that they're not really starters but he is somebody who i would also draft and that'll do it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed if you do please leave a like comment down below and subscribe the next episode will end off the afc west and it is the super bowl champion kansas city chiefs go for, go follow me on facebook twitter or x or twitter and instagram and yeah that should be it subscribe if you haven't already uh, i would love to see more subscribers and more people want to view these videos and everything leave likes and comments down below and also share these videos with some people who also want to do fantasy football who are just very excited for the football year and want to have a taste of it i've been doing this all summer i'll see you guys for the chiefs video i hope you guys have a great day take care and goodbye